Hey folks, Quilly Team here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Universalis 4 as Savoy. The third episode. We're only a few years into this. We started our war for Saluzzo, which is really nice. And we do have problems with Cranky Geneva. Um, it would be really good if we could get like the Prestige Advisor or something. We can't do that. Is there anything we can do with, say, Nobility or something to give us Prestige? I'm assuming the answer is no. Oh, I actually like Supremacy over the Crown, uh, which just triggers the Diet all the time. Um, it just gives us, like, tons more uh, influence. Oh, uh, Strong Duchies. That's the other one we have to run. I forgot about that one. That's going to help with our subject. And, yeah, I'm going to run this as well. That's going to be fine and chill and totally okay. All right. Yeah, that's going to help. We're still... So now, 51%. Technically still disloyal, but not that hard for us to go ahead and correct. Um, I'm going to let the Genevan troops die because it'll lower their, their relative power. Uh, Ferrara. I mean, we do have relationship slots open. We actually have eight relationship slots. Ferrara is interesting and probably compatible. Bologna, Luca, Mantua. I don't know. What if we ally the uh, Papal States? You hate Provence and Genoa. Yeah, that's probably what we'll do. We'll have to wait until the war is over, but I think that's going to be a good target. Um, there we go. Switzerland just got its butt kicked by... Wow! Did you take three provinces? That's insane! Okay, I'm gonna stop this for a sec. Um, I am going to begin fabricating claims in Switzerland. Who hates the Swiss? We could consider making friends with the three leagues, actually. Wouldn't even complain that much if you sieged out Geneva. All for peace. Okay. Um, let me cancel this. There you go. Um, clear, clear, clear. Vassal. Oh, you're, you're not willing to do it. Seriously. your troops here but i can't go there did you cancel the access rights at some point that's probably exactly what happened maybe if i maybe i can beat these guys up a little bit and convince them to leave the war their enthusiasm is high uh if i could con uh, consolidate this i know you did go oh you're over here um I said before, it'd be great if there was sort of Stellaris style. You can right-click an army and just auto-chase it all over without the micro. Okay, stack wipe over there. There you go. You're low. First of all, if I went back over here, no. But now I can definitely negotiate a piece specifically with Brandenburg. They're going to want out. Um, I have no war score against them directly. So I can't ask for money or anything like that. That's okay. I'll just send demands, get them out of here, negotiating from themselves, and it's Brandenburg. Boom, done. So now we have 100% over here. So as soon as our diplomat is back, we're going to be okay. Uh, I'll park you over here. That's going to be fine, too. Um, yeah, I'll probably will leave the troops because... Um, I guess there's nothing else I can do other than I can take all your money. I, I will. Yeah, you're going to be my vassal. I don't care. You're going to be my broke vassal. Done, done, done. Um, leave desire. Yeah, because they did gain some strength, which is a little bit annoying. That's a lot more liberty desire over here. We're still at war for now, which is good. Someone might support their independence. You can't with Saluzzo because we have a truce, but they could over here. Uh, I'm just going to give it this command again. Not that it really matters. Um, building the spy network there. Austria. Yeah, if, uh, if France pieces out, we can... Oh, you'd actually be willing to do it now. Oh, because it's not my war. Yeah, they can't be called in in any way. Boom. Done. Okay. All bases covered. You must have the military. Oh, we don't have the relationship. We did lose some because we're allied to their rival, but we can go ahead and do this. We could send them a gift if we're worried about doing it quickly enough. Uh, there we go. We can hang out over here in Vado. I'm in need. Dynasty. Oh, we can ask a favor. 
to Milan. Money. Yeah, or power in a category. Right, war taxes, which is fine. General, men, manpower. Um, or, you know what? I'm just going to take the I don't need help prestige option. Yeah. Which I rarely do. Although, if they say no, it's really annoying. Oh, the Renaissance has triggered! Hey, hey, hey. Um, but it's going to... First of all, we have a mission fulfilled. All bases covered. There we go. We got a France relationship. Let's finish this right away. Uh, we're going to get a bunch of Diplo power, our cells and our air, which is nice. Less aggressive impact and more Diplo power immediately, which is lovely. Okay, this next mission we can do at our leisure. We just need some money. So that's going to be very, very, very convenient. I no longer need to make friends with France. That's good. Um... So, Montferrato, oh my god, it started right here in our vassals' territory, uh, which will become ours. I don't know if it makes much of a difference one way or the other, but it's really kind of interesting that it is a king. Um, oh, unlawful territory will be a bit of an issue with Switzerland. Now, I don't know, if we're allied to the emperor, emperor, would they still unlawful territory us? But they can't start a war with us because they're in the alliance. They could break it, but that would be a truce. I don't know how the math works out here with these guys. They like us a lot. They might still make the demand. I don't know. Do you have any alliances? You're allied with Strasbourg, which isn't much of a threat. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, if I'm going to improve relations with anyone, it's probably... Um, it's still going to be some of my vassals. Now, I can't... Maybe what I'll do is I will start improving relations with Montfrat. Uh, because in three years we can integrate them, and that would remove one of our vassals from the equation. So we'll probably do that. Oh, it's, it's called for peace for the, the English war. But they must be getting called for peace as well, right? No, the AI is going to have to peace out soon. And I want to stay to the end so I get the favors. Now we need 30 um, uh, spy network over here. I think I can probably safely bring down my forts. War be damned. Yeah, you know, army tradition, blah, blah, blah. Right now, we need the cash pretty desperately. Now, the cash is a little lower right now because we are um, we are reinforcing. There it is. So, owes us some favors. Great. The thing is, if Austria declares war for uh, unlawful territory, France will defend us, which is going to be nice. Um, ba -da 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 -da. Restoration, aggressive expansion, prestige, shared. We get 1.3, which is helpful. And then they lose some territory, but not all of it. Um, we can set up some rivals now, because we do have too few. Um, Papal States. Almost, but not quite. Cancel you for a sec. Improve relations for a tick. There it is. Right, I could start against Provence as well, which is interesting. The Papal States might join in, but France, yeah. What we need is we need France to start an offensive war that they call me in, that I say yes, and then they don't call in Provence. So that way I can start a war against Provence and France won't join in. Right? I think that's the sequence of things. I'm going to get this alliance. Having you be damned, I mean, we might want you at some point, but we'll see... Oh, yeah, um, hopefully this is still going to work out mathematically okay. We'll see. Keep building a spy network for now. That's going to be fine. Um, Mantua. I don't remember where Mantua is. Oh, there it is. Um... Because there's no way I'm going to be able to offer vassalization <clears throat> in any way. I don't know if you're... you. No, I'm going to ignore you. And the 28th. I'm going to say yes to this. You've got enough strength to be useful. And we've got a lot of mutual enemies, which is going to be swell. We can tech up. Yeah, let's get the Diplo tech. Being behind our uh, vassals would be poor for that. So we definitely want to go ahead and accelerate that. And then, yeah, I'm going to improve some relations here as well. We might want to give them a little subsidies to help out. Ah, knowledge sharing. Um, I'm going to say yes. This should happen pretty quickly. Um, the other thing we're going to do 
is we're going to use the uh, state macro builder over here to set up some edicts. Um, well, actually, okay. Is it spreading everywhere right now? Not here, but it is spreading in these places. Mostly it's in our capital. Tell you what. I'll set up a state edict everywhere for advancement efforts. And we can just cancel it once we embrace. And it is going to go a little faster over here. Um, Provence. Yes, for sure. Genoa. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't upset any of the other relations. We'll see. Um, yes, humiliate rival. Oh, um, dirt. The other thing. Is. Oh, we have a truce, so I can't. But I can embargo you, which makes a ton of sense. We can embargo you, which makes a ton of sense. And we want to send some insults out, because we'll actually get our power projection above 50. I don't remember. Does it cost us prestige to send a um, scornful insult? Oops. Oh, accidentally hit a key. Uh, send insult. Yeah. Um, you can so you can have a regular insult and a scornful insult at the same time. I'm just going to go for a regular insult here. Which does put us over 50, which is important. Not for very long, but I really want to save the prestige for a little bit longer if we can. All right, let's go back over here. Improving relations. <laughs> uh, actually, we can get Saluzzo below 50 pretty quickly as well. And then whenever we do get the pause at Prestige, uh, we can hit some buttons. Alliance breaking. Uh, that is right. Hold on. That's an oopsie doodle. I want France to protect me against all. Well, I don't know if Austria will actually start any shit. Is this fine? Is it not fine? Minus 10. I don't know if we can uh, counter this. Probably we can't. I don't know how much of a deal breaker it is. We're still married to them. Like, I'm not worried about them necessarily starting a war, but yeah, that is actually kind of awkward. We thing is, it's inevitable. You know, I'm just going to go with it. We can't really... Long-term relationship with France is never going to work out. <laughs> so my forts are mothballed. My army maintenance is currently up. Um, I could drill you a little bit, but um, I'm not going to right now because I want the morale to be ready to go as soon as this is good here. There's the alliance gone. I think that's fine. We shall see. Come on. There you go. 30. Thank you. Oh, and is this our military tech? Good time for that. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, because they're not even there, which is lovely. Um, we're going to fabricate a claim on Fribourg. I'll stop building the spy network. And we'll declare war. I may have, I may have considered co-belligerizing um, Strasbourg, but I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I'll just insta-stack wipe you, clearly. You were not prepared for this. Um, I'm going to split you in half and move. Oh, there it is. Do something kind of like that. You don't have any siege pips, right, Mr. General? Oh, you do. Hold on. Just, um, here, let's grab these three and just move them over here and that's going to be fine. That's the war goal, although clearly we'll have to siege down the capital. But done and done. We do have war taxes. It's toggled on. It's on forever now. Put the check mark. And see, it's costing us over here. And we're going to see what the unlawful territory situation is here. Because we're not going to annex these guys. That's a for sure. 
We can't, or sorry, we're not going to vassalize these guys. We're going to annex them um, because we uh, we really don't want. Um, let me get a little bit over here. Oh, we can royal marry you. Oh, you're already loyal. Oh, we're in, we are in a shared war. That's true. Okay. Um. You like me a lot. Let me let me do this a little bit more for now. We may as well with Austria. And yeah, we'll be able to get you to 190. Your your relationship's going to drop a little when we lose the in war together thing, right? The plus 25. You can still get there naturally. You could accelerate it with a gift, which may still be worthwhile for us. Just to eliminate one of our vassals to improve our math of um, for loyalty and things. All right, siege, siege, siege. I mean, this is a mountain, so, you know, or it's a hill still. I think hills still have a penalty. Uh, prestige is going up slowly. Um, we can, in our peace deals, well, no, I don't know. Can we, can we do prestige gaining peace deals if we're doing a full annex? I don't know. All right, if we can recall you, that's fine now. And... Yeah, you know what, I'll just, uh, well, I'm going to send you back to Geneva. Yeah. Just try to keep the modifiers okay. You should be the only disloyal one. And you're not even that disloyal. And again, once we get this to positive prestige, we'll spend 20, immediately go negative, uh, to placate local rulers and just try to keep that below 50 so that no one will uh, support your independence. Because it could become pretty annoying. So Milan's growing a lot. We're obviously going to be in some conflict with them. Um, but we have an alliance with them right now. So we may not bother doing anything more over there, and that's fine. What I'd really like probably next is Geneva. You're only allied to Ferrara. You know what? Or so, Genoa is the next target, is what I mean. I think I said the wrong words. Words are hard. Start building a spy network over there. Aggressive expansion is going to start to be a thing, though. Um, if we go to our uh, coalition map mode, we can see what some of the numbers are. They're pretty low, which is good. If we annex all of Switzerland, I suspect it's going to go up a lot. Hopefully not enough for a coalition, but in the HRE, it might. So the thing is, there's a lot of countries here, um, a lot of shared culture, a lot of shared religion. I've been excommunicated again. Yeah, the problem is they are allied to France. But this entire block of land over here, it was always going to be the case. I mean, unless somehow France breaks up its um, its relationship with Provence, uh, that is going to be a little bit later. But yeah, our biggest money maker is taking Genova. Or Genova, yeah. You know, the Genoan territory, including Genova over here. These words are too similar. Between Geneva, Genoa, and Genova. Stuff's weird. Lose admin, lose prestige. Again, I'm going to have to keep the prestige, even though it hurts my heart to spend the admin power like that. Because now we've spent basically a, a hundred uh, uh, monarch power to get the plus one stability, which admittedly, like to go up from a plus two to plus three is you know quite expensive. But I still sort of think a stability is about a one hundred point cost. I don't know, maybe a little more. Maybe I could think of it as a hundred and fifty cost as a base, and then think of the the move from zero to plus one as sort of a discounted version of that, which seems fine. The um, the logic too is you clearly never want to be negative stability. So, and whenever your ruler dies, you're going to go to, you know, minus one. So you're always going to want to go to minus one to, 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 to zero. So you're always going to be spending 100 admin every time your ruler dies. If you're always spending 100 admin per, per admin cycle, why not spend the 100 admin slightly ahead of time to go from plus zero to plus one, because it's the same cost, and then reap the benefits of the plus one. The only difference in is from, you know, from, from that is that you're spending your admin slightly ahead of time to get a bonus. Going above plus one through spending power is pretty rough, unless, you know, you're you're maxing out your admin, in which case it becomes, you know, because you're waiting for an institution or something, or you're way ahead of time on tech, then it becomes a little bit more viable, but otherwise not so much. I'm happy that Milan has some rebels and that they're having problems. Even though they're, they're allied to me right now, we don't want them to go kind of crazy go nuts because they're definitely going to be one of our targets. Doubly so now with the Swiss. We're actually going to, um, because this, I think we're going to get claims over all this stuff. Uh, once we integrate Geneva, I think. This is max. I'm going to keep this here because, again, we're going to lose 25. Royal marriage with Milan has gone. Any chance we'd want to break? Nah, no, no. Because they, they hit Genoa as well. Yeah, we're going to want to uh, keep that up. There you go. Say yes. Thank you. Friends in need. Our coffers are a little low, but you know what we could do? Get 10 prestige. 
finish this, get our stability up to a whopping plus three, which is awesome. And what I'm going to do here is eliminate this issue. So we're going to go back to negative. But now we don't have any disloyal estates or um, vassals. And that's going to be really handy. I think we've gone several ticks without an improvement over here, which is a little frustrating. How many troops do I actually need? Nine. So I should take uh, maybe these guys because they're more expensive. Uh, we're nearly out of manpower, though. So government form war. You are a republic. Okay. There we go. Siege of burn. Feel the burn. Um, so I can't piece you out right now. Well, I mean, I don't have a diplomat, which is part of it. But we've also got Strasbourg over here. Now, I don't know if I can walk there. Oh, I can. So let's merge up and go over there. Because we can maybe get some prestige boosting things um, in our peace out with Strasbourg. Because unlike when we pieced out Brandenburg, we won't have a zero war score with them if we siege them out. In fact, we'll have, I mean, I guess 100%. Uh, I'm not locked. Why can't I go there? Oh, is this fort here blocking my ability to move there? Okay. Sure. I'll hold up on this a sec. Naples. All right. Hang on, are you... Isn't Naples... Doesn't it start off as a vassal or junior partner of Aragon? Am I am I on the crack? Oh. Sure, Venice. Yeah, have fun with the Ottomans, buddy. Who are you actually at war with? Albania, yeah, alright. Um, hmm. That's interesting. And, again, let me bring these guys out. Uh, he might decide to attack me. Which isn't the worst thing. Go. And leave a couple extras, because they're going to they're gonna attrition down. And if they go below 9k, it'll stop it. So we have higher strength. It's the wood. They'd have a river crossing. Although, yeah, they do have some maneuver there, and we don't have a leader, so they wouldn't actually get the river crossing. But there'd still be the woods, and we'd still be able to go and jump in on these guys. All right, little progression there. So we're not looking to consume Strasbourg, because um, I'm worried that aggression, aggressive expansion would be too much. Um, the unlawful territory situation would be maybe problematic, and I don't want another vassal right now. Even though we do have the room... Uh, I'm mostly worried about the vassals getting too cranky and uppity. And yeah, we're going to try to eat Switzerland. This may not be possible. We may only be able to do one province. We will see how it goes. Um, we will be able to integrate these guys as soon as the war is over. Let me keep let me go back to improving relations just to make sure you stay high enough. Um, and over here, we're going to fabricate a claim. I'm going to fabricate it on Genova directly. Because it's the most expensive. And what I might do is keep fabricating more claims on all of their territory over here. I think that's probably a good idea. All right, we're at 0%. Come on, positive ticks. Let's go. All right, 7%. Let's bring it up to speed 4 here. Um, Genoa's embraced the Renaissance. Yeah, we've got the knowledge sharing. We've got our... Um, our edicts. Sa oh, there we go. The sacking. Lose money, gain professionalism. Lose prestige. The devastation there doesn't matter. The opinion doesn't matter. Um, you know, I think I'm going to go here. I'm not as concerned about the attrition anymore. Cancel you again. Wait a sec. So we're going to separate piece out Strasbourg. What we're looking for is money. And prestige boosters. These are expensive. Um, let me see here. I mean, we could vassalize them, but I think that would be bad. We'll take the war reps. I don't convince that's going to be worth a ton of money, but we'll take it anyway. Um, we don't want them to steer trade. Transferring trade power. I mean, they're in the champagne trade node, I think. It does give a little prestige and would give us some money. Not as much as some of these others. We get more prestige from having them end rivalries. I don't think the alliance here matters or there. 
That might just rival me. But let me go ahead and do this. For a little bit more prestige. Okay. Let's bring all my troops home. We'll put them on a beach vacation. Okay. Now, what can we do here? If I went and ate both of these... Oh, yeah, no um, no coalition risk threat. Then we'll take any money you might have in the bank. Full annexation. There's some unlawful territory here. We're going to find out what that might do for us. For all the things... I'm happy I didn't just tech up. Um, actually, park yourself. I think Vado has high supply. We'll park ourselves there and do some rebel busting. You're back. We can not annex you. We're just shy. Of course we are. Okay, that was why I was like, well, maybe we'll wait. Um, let me cancel this spy guy for a sec. We're, we can't go to war with Genoa right away. We've uh, There we go. There's 190. We were, we're going to have to burn off some of our aggressive expansion. Start annexing one. Now, I don't need to improve the relationship here anymore, which is good. Um, and instead, what we're going to be looking for is improving things with Genoa, who are currently disloyal. We're no longer at war. Sure, Austria, you can have that. Work to improve relations here again a little bit. They're barely disloyal. If someone uh, supports their independence right this second, that'll be really frustrating. And, yeah, you have to go and stop some rebels. I'd like to start drilling or save money, but we can't. Um, I think I can probably lower my forts. I think that's going to be okay. We've got a fair amount of cash. Our income should become okay in a second. Um, we don't have any powerful trade locations yet, so there's no point in building that. In terms of missions, this... Uh, we do need to have um, one extra province with a castle. It's got to be in a certain zone, uh, and we're going to be fine with building that. Now, okay, I was wondering about that. We could build one here in Veles. It's a mountain, which is a great place to put a fort, and it would count as a zone. Uh, it would give us buffer against Milan for now. Later on, maybe more HRE stuff. Uh, we don't really have another mountain in the west. Well, you already have a fort, so it doesn't matter. We could also build one in Saluzzo. Maybe a little redundant with the one in Cuneo. But Saluzzo would count and is a mountain and would buffer against France. But, I mean, I think kind of regardless of where we put the fort, it's going to work out defensively fine, even against France. I mean, either way, they can go directly into our um, capital. Well, later on, our capital is going to be in Savoy. Oh, Torino doesn't have one. Obviously, it'll get the capital fort. No, yeah, we're definitely going to want to build one in, in Torino and protect our capital as much as possible. And it's a mountain. It'll be adjacent to Canale. You know what? That's fine. It'll give us lots of control over this area. That's going to be fine and dandy. Try to improve things with Genoa. Try to do this. It'd be nice to get plus one diplomat if we could. Um, I guess I could uh, or yeah, improve Geneva. We could spy more on Genoa, but we can go whenever. But I think a good idea... I mean, there's not a lot of aggressive expansion. Nah, there's probably a little bit more. I suspect if we wanted to... We would be very limited in how much we could actually annex from Genova. Or from from Genoa, if we went to war with them right now. I think it's perfectly okay to take a beat, plus we don't have any manpower anyway, so I think it's probably fine to to chill out on that for a little bit. Power situation's okay. Power jack ooh, has dropped a little bit. Um, oh, uh, so, my rivals, again, Provence, Genoa, yeah, let's do a scornful insult over here. We'll have to put a cut in the video in a second. Um, send in fault. I'm okay with going negative prestige. Oh, I don't have positive prestige, so I can't. Um, yeah, so this will put us back over 50 for a tiny little bit. Embargo, embargo. I don't think I can embargo England yet. Because we still have a truce. Yeah. So, I may as well just insult you. Now, regular insults don't stack. Oh, did this one not... Did we have a, Do we have a truce with you? No. How come it didn't reset this to plus five for insulted rival? Oh, all right. Well, whatever. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Now we're gonna go ahead and accept the uh, the prestige shade over here. 
even though like low prestige does suck. It would be nice to hit the button, but we might just be able to get them there. If we um, if we annex Montferrato, we're going to be okay regardless, because that will the relative strength of vassals will go down. Geneva will be fine, um, and I'm going to want to annex them next. So I should really just go back to continuing to improve relations. We do have a lot to go because of the desire for independence, because we can only go up to plus 200 improved relations with vassals. So it's an extra 63, um, which doesn't get us where we want. We're also going to have to do. Um, subsidies and then we're also going to have to top them off with a gift um but we'll start with this and that's at least going to be a ting we can't marry them which is annoying because it's republics so geneva is like really it's a lot of work to get there but we can get there luckily there's only the minus three aggressive expansion which will go away soon which will help the math um improve a little bit in our favor so uh we will be able to get there but for now we'll go ahead and put it in the cut folks thanks a lot for watching i'm gonna see you guys next time